and is a way to make New Zealand more democratic. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Call Mike Saban. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I must admit I didn't anticipate as a member of the Regulations Review Committee to ever be standing here speaking on a bill. Uh, can I firstly uh, commend the uh, Chair of the Regulations <laughs> Review Committee? It's all much of a, quite a mystery to me, I must say, Mr Mallard. But can I just uh, firstly commend, uh, in the short call, Mr Speaker, the Chair of the Regulations uh, Review Committee, uh, Charles Chevelle, uh, for the way in which he does shed light on what does appear something of a mystery to me at times um, and uh, his leadership of that committee. Uh, but, Mr Speaker, uh, this uh, bill um, is really about clear and accessible law uh, being a fundamental uh, part of the rule of law. Uh, people need to be able to understand what it's about and the courts need to be able to interpret legislation. Uh, certainly in my former life as a police officer, um, I saw, I guess, the other end of that particular uh, spectrum and the importance of it. Uh, as has already been mentioned, Mr Speaker, the Law Commission has rightly said that uh, our statute law as a whole uh, currently lacks uh, the coherence, uh, is untidy and can be difficult to understand and use. Uh, and, Mr Speaker, this bill obviously goes to the heart of that. Uh, legislation, uh, this legislation bill supports the efforts of the Parliamentary uh, Council Office and the Law Commission to address this problem uh, by tidying the statute books uh, and marking them, uh, making them easier uh, to understand. And I think, uh, uh, Mr Speaker, we, we've all uh, found consensus uh, in, in that point. Uh, Mr Speaker, this bill aims to modernise and improve the law relating to the publication availability, uh, reprinting, revision and official versions of legislation and, in fact, brings together uh, the law on drafting, publication and disallowance legislation for the first time. Uh, Mr Speaker, it ensures that legislation is made available to the public appropriately and uh, conveniently and preserves and enhances the powers of the House to scrutinise and challenge um, our delegate legislation. I don't know if I'd go as far as uh, my friend uh, from the Green Party, the previous Speaker, although I'd have to say we don't find consensus in many of our views. Uh, but uh, I won't uh, delve on that point, Mr Speaker. Uh, lastly, it preserves the independence of the Parliamentary Council Office and the importance and significance of that uh, is not to be understated. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm very happy uh, to commend this legislation, this bill, uh, to the House. Thank you. Call Dennis O'Rourke. Thank you, Mr Speaker.